All right, y'all. So this video is gonna be out of New York. This is gonna be about police tracking down a fugitive accused of raping twin girls. Now he also has uh, previous arrest records dating back to crimes like this, and he also had warrants out for arrests like this, and he was on parole at the time of this. All right. So let's get into this. All right. So. Uh, officers found Isaiah Mess 22 at a homeless shelter in Midtown Manhattan early Tuesday. Only for Mess to attack striking members of the Regional Fugitive Task Force in the head repeatedly and biting one in the arm. Uh, the New York Post reported he then reportedly fled the scene. Alright, uh, and like I said, Mess is facing 115 charges. 115 charges now. For offenses including rape, sexual abuse of children, involving photographs or video. He was arrested on March 30th for offenses listed in court records as having taken place on June 12, 2021. So, let's just think about this for a minute, alright? 115 charges, alright? And these are not 115 traffic tickets, alright? But even that is excessive, but... This is 115 charges for offenses including rape, sexual abuse of children, alright? Why, why is he out um, less than a month later? Right, he was arrested on March 30th and he was out April 18th, April 17th, alright? At least, alright? Who knows how long he was actually out before then, but he was at least out... April 18th through the 17th, or 17th through the 18th, all right? So, uh, according to the post, police said Mets have been taken in by a Pennsylvania foster family before he allegedly raped the young girls. So, uh, officers finally tracked down, uh, tracked Mets down in Yonkers Tuesday night. After a search that included posting his photos on Twitter with hopes that people would share it and relay information that they had to police. Alright, they were finally able to bring him into custody following a struggle that involved officers using a stun gun on him. Uh, CBS reported that Metz is on parole for alleged assaulting a Pennsylvania cop. He now faces new charges that include assaulting a police officer, resisting arrest, and criminal trespass. Alright. But again, so my biggest question right now is where, what's happening with the 115 charges that he's facing? Alright. Now, again, that's in Pennsylvania, all right? So, uh, I'm guessing what will happen is uh, either A, he will serve his time in New York City unless they, of course, let him go again because it's New York City, all right? Um, and then he will be transported to Pennsylvania because obviously that will be extraditable, um, obviously. And, or either A or B, he will be transported to Pennsylvania and he will not be let go. And to me, that is the best case scenario, alright? Because unfortunately, there is not a death penalty for crimes that involve stuff like this, alright? There should be a death penalty involved in it, alright? And, you know, that would solve it a lot, alright? It's not going to bring comfort to the families, but they will uh, realize that they don't have to deal with this person again, alright? But again, unfortunately, there's not a death penalty for cases like this. But 115 charges in Pennsylvania, um, and again, you have a history of assaulting police officers, a history of running. But again, if New York State can just hold him there without giving him bail or bond, so he can at least get transported to Pennsylvania, that would be extraordinary. But again, it's New York, so I have no doubt of what they're going to do, alright? But, um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, thank y'all for watching, and y'all stay safe, fella.